In this example, what I'm going to show you is I'm a developer using VS Code together with GitHub's Copilot as my code assistant or code generation assistant. What I'm going to show you is two main use cases that are already part of the early access that I will talk about in a couple of minutes. First, I'm going to show you how I'm adding new open source packages and getting real live feedback from the Checkmarks Assist agent. And then we're also going to show source code and how we're able to fix hard-coded secrets in this example by utilizing our agent. So let's get started. Here in this case, I've already installed and configured my Checkmarks 1 IDE plugin, and I already enabled Coding Smarter with AI. I can configure it the way that I want, and now I'm ready to go. What you see here, I have my packet JSON, which pulls various dependencies uh, from NPM. In this case, I have already defined what I need, and you can see that in the dependencies part, some of the dependencies that I'm using have critical vulnerabilities in it, high vulnerabilities in it, and also malicious open source packages, which were identified by Checkmarks. And it's a great opportunity to remind everyone that Checkmarks has one of the largest malicious open source database in the market with over 400,000, that's 400K, known and verified to be malicious open source packages. So now let's see what I can do as the developer. So you can see that now um, I can interact with the agents live in the IDE. It will integrate using the MCP that Jonathan has mentioned, and it will also be able to suggest the fix, ignore the issue if I don't want to handle that, or see the full package details coming directly from check marks. In the next example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to interact with Copilot and get the fix automatically from the checkmarks agent. And now let's see it live. So now I'm pressing and I'm asking the agent to fix the code for me. What now happens is that the agent interacts with GitHub Copilot for me and will do in a couple of seconds all the fixing, all the remediation for me based on all the information that the checkmarks agent has sent to Copilot. And as you can see, we've already in this example upgraded the minimist package from the previous version to the secure version. And you can see that live in a matter of seconds, the checkmarks agent were, was able to identify and mark it as no problems that were fine. And I can continue to do that until my entire packages, my entire manifest file is actually fully um, clean and I have no vulnerabilities. And now let's move on to the second example. In this example, what I'm going to do is see how the Checkmarks Developer Assist agent is able to identify issues in source code. In the next example, it's going to do that with hard-coded secrets in this secrets.py example, which is a Python file that I have created with hard-coded secrets. You can see that in this case, we have three issues where I'm going to focus on the first two. So what I will do now is you can see it's already identified those. And now I will interact with the checkmarks agent in order to fix it. And you will see that in a matter of seconds, it will fix and actually change, completely change the entire structure of this file for me also creating new files that are required in order to fix this problem. So now let me click on fix with checkmarks and copilot and see the fix that the checkmarks agent would generate for me. So you can see that on the right, we are interacting with, keep, with GitHub copilot, just like in the previous example, it's working. And now you can see that we have the, we have recreated Copilot and the checkmarks agent have recreated the entire structure of the file in order to fix the two hard-coded issues. And in this case, it actually created a new file for me that has all the secrets as parameters. And this one, as you can see, doesn't have the problems anymore. 
So this concludes our live demo. We showed you two capabilities. One around open source and live identification of both open source vulnerabilities and malicious identification, malicious open source identification. And the second one was around source code and in this example, hard-coded secrets.